Hello and welcome to another video by Blue Brick Tar. This day I'm going to be doing a um, video of my room. Um, this is where it all happens. So I'll start off with my um, collection of figures. Um, this room has only just been completed. We've been redecorating it for a while now. And this is the first time I've been able to display my figures properly for about a year now. Uh, so it's really, I'm really happy to be able to have them um, all on display. As you can see on my top shelf, I've got all my doctors in the background. I've got all um, the classics. Just zoom in a little here. There's Perry dying. Would be a waste to uh, not have the Drashig eating someone. So Perry is the one to be eaten. Uh, in the background, we've got uh, a David Tennant autograph there and a Matt Smith autograph that my uncle got me. Um, either for Christmas or for my birthday um, a year or two ago um, but yeah and then there's Time Crash, the Time Crash set um, then I've sort of congealed all the all these together we have series one um, very small amount of them there but I don't have, I think series one Five and six are the ones that I have the least figures for. Uh, series two. And then series three over here. I'm not sure if this little light will make any... It, um, you know, if it'll make any difference. But. And then in the background we've got the San Diego Comic Con... Um, Damaged Cyberman, the Doctor Experience, uh, Amelia Pond, and the San Diego Comic Con Ninth Doctor that was out the same year as the Time Crash set. Um, but yeah, that's series one to three. And then down here, we've got series four. And very few figures. I, I did sell a lot of my figures a, a while back. Series 5. Uh, as you can see I'm using Nick Cutter as Rory as I have in all my other spoofs and videos and stuff. Um, you may spot a few customs including this um, 11th Doctor here. And his coat which I used for... Um, what video was it? One of the spoofs, I'm sure it was uh, 5.02 p.m. I think it was. And then the custom um, Headless Monk, Junkyard Tardis, and the um, Pandorica, that's all. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's my figure collection. Um, there's only a couple of figures that I couldn't fit on, which are in that drawer there. Top drawer. Um, so yeah, that's my figure collection. Um, there's actually a smaller amount than I always thought that there was. At the same time, there is, actually, thinking about it, there is a lot of figures there. I did think, I, I did have more um, once upon a time though. And then up here we've got the Biff Bang Pow figures. Fourth, Doctor, Santaron, the Master and the Cyber Leader. Then over here we've got DVDs. Um, well, at the top I've got CDs or lack of. I don't really listen to many CDs. Uh, I listen to... Uh, vinyl records more than anything and then we got the classic Doctor Who episodes uh, my very small collection of them um, 
mostly consisting of fourth doctor and fifth doctor episodes then we got the new series we've got series one two five there still need to get series six and torchwood um the big bang theory uh star wars star wars the clone wars harry potter and then that's uh, something to do with world war ii um then these are just other films uh, like Police Academy, um, some comedy shows and TV programs uh, from the BBC, Mr Bean, love Mr Bean, uh, and yeah some other things down there, all my VHS are down there including Faulty Towers, Dinner Ladies, um, down there we've got Karate Kid, uh, an old version of Star Wars, um, Toy Story. Everyone loves Toy Story. Uh, then over here we got books. My books. Uh, this isn't all of them. I have a few some where else that I still need to put on here. But uh, we got the Harry Potter collection over there, minus Deathly Hallows. We got all the, some Doctor Who novels, and then some miscellaneous novels and Star Wars. Um, and then down there we've just got um, my French dictionaries, Spanish, um, and some other books as well. Um, then over here we've got Lego, this Lego's cool. Um, over here, uh, this is the Dalek factory character building um, that I got the other day for just £15, which was pretty good, but actually... It's kind of a crappy set to be honest. Um, I mean, the base plates are warped. It's not very good. It's falling apart. Um, so you know, then more Lego over here. Um, my vinyl record player turntable. Uh, over here we've got the Death Star, the vintage Star Wars Death Star from uh, nineteen. 80? 1980? Yeah, I think it's 1980 or 81. Yeah, I can't remember. Uh, then we've got the. Well, I've got a few little ornaments and things here, including a meerkat that my mum got me. I, I really do like meerkats. Uh, then we've got the. Uh, this isn't the real vintage uh, Boba Fett, this is the rocket firing one that Hasbro did as a remake. The real one is there, although his uh, backpack doesn't launch, unfortunately. Then we've got a Revenge Cyberman. And <laughs> another meerkat wearing a tie. And then we've just got posters. That poster there, that um, Series 6 Utah poster, will be coming down. Um, something else is going out there, that's just temporary. Uh, then over here we've got my um, the first ten Doctors um, canvas. Then we, I've got a few Star Wars figures pinned up there. Um, over here I've got m my massive Weeping Angels poster. Um, and we've just got a few more figures. If I just take the charger off Uh, okay, so we just got a few figures here. These are Daleks that I couldn't fit onto my other display. Uh, that's a custom uh, Fourth Doctor from the Sunmakers uh, jacket. That's Eleventh Doctor. Uh, Tomb of the Cybermen Cyber Controller. That's a custom Series Seven Eleventh Doctor in his new um, costume. Spoilers um, that my dad made for me. Uh, Screaming Angel and just more Daleks. And we've got more posters up here. Um, also, got a dartboard, which is, I'm pretty proud of actually. Um, some um, that's the the massive, the brand new uh, Millennium Falcon that actually belongs to my sister, but she hasn't got any room for it in her room, so you know. 
I'll have it mine, I don't mind. And then I've got my rather smaller Millennium Falcon, which I reviewed. Yes, there's a ladder there that's going. We're, we're just using that for the attic. That would may be used on a life-size uh, Dalek if I get the money to make it. Uh, down there is my AC-80. Those are just family photos. Silent screwdrivers are there. Silent figure there. Um, not sure there's much more to show. But yeah, that's my bedroom. Oh, Harry Pop um, framed poster there, and my clock, another dartboard, and um, more posters. Another poster will be going there. Um, the other side of that one, because um, this is from Doctor Who magazine from years ago now, um, the other side is uh, the Doctor, Wilf and the Master from the end of the time, uh, from the end of time, um, but I thought I'd have the Sarah Jane one, because it looked better to be honest. Um, so yeah, and there's my notice board, there's my 11th Doctor's TARDIS. I was going to put it up there with my 10th Doctor's TARDIS, but unfortunately it wouldn't fit um, with it. And then we just got some other things. Yes, that is cat food, because there's my cat there. She's poorly. Pues. Meow. Hello. So, you know, I brought up her food for her. Nibble on. So yeah, um, and there's a fan. There's my telly, as well. See what's cool about this telly is is that there's a little turntable underneath it, so I can watch it in the daytime when I'm sat at my desk, or I can turn it round and watch it in bed. Which I've um, I've just been watching the Five Doctors today and yesterday. Watch half of it yesterday and then the rest today, and so yeah. Um. Oh, there's my knees. That's not part of the collection, uh, but yeah, um, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what else to say. Oh, where those boxes are there? They're from my sister's bedroom. Uh, there's going to be uh, a stack of drawers um, there. And in those drawers will be Lego bricks. Um, that's about it. Down there you can see a pirate ship, which I had when I was little. I could use it for a scene recreation of um, the Curse of the Black Spot, but... Um, I don't know. We haven't got any of the figures from the, uh, from that episode really so there's no point um you can't see him but oh you can't see him but next to it is the reaper actually you can see it a little bit and the empress Ragnos, which i have no idea where to put at the minute but yes this is my bedroom and i like it uh thanks for watching uh and stay tuned for more reviews um soon so yeah bye